Former Special Forces member Sergeant Chris Vaughn of the United States Army returns to his tiny Kitsap County, Washington, hometown. In search of employment, Chris discovers that Jay Hamilton, the owner of the nearby Cedar Mill, shuttered it three years earlier and constructed a casino, which now generates the majority of the community's income. Chris receives an invitation from Hamilton, a friend from school, to a fun-filled evening in the casino. Chris meets Denny, a former classmate who is currently a stripper, while perusing the VIP lounge. He points out to the customers that the craps dealer is using loaded dice. Chris starts a fight when the floor man won't pay out. Chris subdues the security guards with a cattle prod, despite the fact that he defeats most of them. With a utility knife, Booth, the chief of security for Hamilton, chops Chris's body in the basement and leaves him for dead. Chris tries to file charges after he recovers, but Sheriff Stan Watkins believes the casino is untouchable and declines. Chris finds out that his nephew Pete overdosed on crystal meth, which the security officers at the casino had sold to Pete's buddies. Chris arrives at the casino in a rage, smashes property, and viciously attacks security personnel while wielding a piece of lumber as a club. Chris gets captured as he drives away by Sheriff Watkins and his deputies. Chris is accused by Hamilton's workers and security in the subsequent trial. Chris fires his appointed lawyer, whom he believes is representing Hamilton, after the judge lets him to make his defense. Chris speaks civically about the town's past splendor and vows, should he be found not guilty, to clean it up. Chris flashes the hideous scars over his chest to accentuate his plea. Chris wins the sheriff's race and is declared innocent. Chris deputizes his friend Ray Templeton and summarily dismisses the entire police force after becoming office. Ray, a former drug addict, gives Chris advice on drugs. Chris and Ray apprehend Booth after cracking down on a supply point. Even when Booth dismantles his truck in front of him, he says nothing. Ray is tasked by Chris to keep an eye on his home in case Hamilton decides to target his family. Chris stays behind to watch over Booth at the sheriff's office. When Denny pays him a visit, she tells him she quit her job and offers him food. When Watkins and his deputies get to Chris's office the following morning, they blow up his truck and use machine guns to attack the structure. Acknowledging his hazardous situation, Booth begs Chris to release him from his imprisonment. Chris indicates that the drug lab is located in the cedar mill, and Booth utilizes the situation as leverage. Booth is instantly murdered by the assailant's indiscriminate fire, while Chris and Denny work together to eliminate the attackers. When the shooters attack Chris's parents' home, Ray and Chris's father take them out. Chris makes sure they are safe before making his way to the mill. Waiting peacefully in a control room, Hamilton tries to kill Chris by using the mill's machinery. After pulling Hamilton through a trapdoor, Chris lets the two of them tumble through a chute. Before Hamilton attacks Chris with an axe, he is in a neighboring woodland tending to his injured leg. Chris imprisons Hamilton after causing him harm. Chris closes the casino and reopens the cedar mill with Ray's help.